Some of you may be aware of these secret buttons. Did you know that they can be used to shift gears or control your GPS? No need to buy extra buttons. Just program them to do what you want in the eTube project software. Originally, they were intended to control a compatible bike computer with the optional DFly wireless unit. If your equipment is compatible with the current software from Shimano, you can configure these buttons in the eTube project software. If you want to control your GPS, you'll have to install the DFly wireless unit. Detach the junction box and disconnect the center wire. Connect the short D50 wire to the WU111 wireless unit. Connect the loose frame wire to the wireless unit. Connect the wireless unit to the center junction port. The red and green LEDs should blink to indicate a good connection. Remount the junction box. Tuck the excess wire into your frame. Orient the connector with the smile facing up. Connect the USB junction charging connector to the junction box. Connect the other end to your computer's USB port. Start the eTube project program on your computer. Now that you have the wireless unit, you can also use the eTube app on your tablet or smartphone. However, updating firmware is best done on your computer. Select your bike type. It will check for the latest software update. Select connection check. It will warn you that charging has stopped. Click next and the program will check the connected components. It will ask you if you are using the sprinter switches. It will give you a list of the connected components and the firmware status of each. Green boxes indicate up to date and yellow indicates that an update is available. Click Update. Once updated, the checkbox turns green. Click Customize to program your switches. Click Switch Settings. There are two levers, right and left. Each has three switches. The normal XY switch shifts gears. You can modify the direction of these shifts if you like. The ones we are interested in are the secret switches, switch A. You can set these to control shifting up or down, rear or front derailleur. If you have connected the DFly wireless unit, you can also control a compatible bike computer like my Garmin Edge 820. Select the switch you want to program. A graphic will pop up to let you know what switch you have selected. The current status is listed next to each switch. Select right lever switch A. You can choose up or down, rear or front derailleur for the left or right lever. Select DFly to control your bike computer if you have the DFly wireless unit installed. On the left lever switch A, select DFly channel 1. On the right lever switch A, select DFly channel 2. Make sure that you have different channels selected for each lever. Click Complete. Just remember, all switches are programmable even the ones you probably don't want to change. If you make a mistake, you can always return to the default settings. When you are finished, click Exit to leave the program. Now we can connect our compatible bike computer to our DI2 shifters. First, we need to pair our computer to the DI2 system. On the Garmin Edge 820, select Setting, Add Sensor, Shimano DI2, or search all if you don't see your DI2. Add. You might need to click your gear shifters to make them visible to your device. It will then prompt you to set up the DI2 buttons. You can access the buttons anytime by selecting Menu, Settings, Sensor Details, DI2 Button Setup. The buttons you configure in the E2 project software should be visible in this case, left and right road shifter switch A. Select one of the lever buttons. 
you have three choices, single press, press and hold, or double press. Within each of these choices, you can select what will happen, such as next page, previous page, record lap, start and stop timer, start timer, stop timer, turn backlight on, show map, show compass, and more. Set up data screens, menu, settings, activity profiles, pick a profile, data screens, choose the screen, choose how many fields to display, select the field, and make your choice of category. We are interested in gears from our DI2. Lots of choices like battery level, shift mode, front gear, gear combo, gear ratio. You can use those secret buttons to navigate your GPS screens moving left or right, access the map for navigation, check your DI2 battery level, check your gears, check your shifting mode, start or stop your computer, or even change gears. You can also use your bike computer to change your shifting synchro mode, manual, full synchro, or semi-synchro. There are even more possibilities with future updates from Shimano. So stay in touch by subscribing. And in the meantime, go out there and have a great ride.